going on everybody sam hatch culture dog back here with another laser disc update video a little sooner than expected but right after i got this last batch wrapped up another package rolled in in the mail from kevin kobos also known as the good squid who was kind of my contact in japan who i buy a lot of stuff from i know a lot of other people are really excited about using proxies and doing stuff on yahoo auctions etc but i really just kind of have always been a fan of finding somebody in an establishment who's kind of you know, your personal proxy as opposed to just kind of like a faceless robot proxy. Uh, you know, it kind of shops for you, whether or not you have the money for it. And he's super, super cool about, you know, hooking you up with um, information about the title. You know, what if the condition isn't really that great, he will let you know and, and all that stuff. And, and we'll find stuff that you're looking for. Wicked, wicked fast. So I always am a big fan of that connection or, and, and service. And that goes a long, 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 long way with me. So I know, yeah. I'm going to be buying a lot of stuff from him in the future for sure. But I got a bunch of things in. Well, not a bunch, but just a couple things. But he uh, hooked me up with uh, Cowboy Bebop and uh, Macross 2 and the original Macross uh, you know, box set not too long ago. So that really kind of kick-started my uh, decision to get back into collecting anime on Laserdisc. And one of the things I got right away, I was like, oh, man, I got to see this. Because it's a title I've been meaning to get forever. I mean, back when I was really kind of finding out about manga and anime and like what it really was, other than when I was a kid, I was really excited about Star Blazers and you know, Battle of the Planets, but I didn't know exactly why. Um, but I remember, what was this, 84? Tripping across this. Uh, I know if you were a comics fan back in the day, the Comics Buyer's Guide was pretty much just the variety of the comic collector scene. You know, it had information, news, you know, reviews, and then like a little bit of a price guide in there too. And uh, one of the, I forgot what, what uh, publishing company, Krauss Publications, was looking to kind of cash in on that in a magazine form. And it was called Comics Collector. And I picked up this issue, which got into uh, manga and anime releases. And I think it was like the very first page had a splash image of uh, Space Adventure Cobra and they talked it up so much that I was like I gotta get that that anime film uh, the movie which had just come out in 1982 and when I saw Kevin had it on Laserdisc I'm like yes we are making that happen but Space Adventure Cobra the movie killer cover art love that thing very Brock Samson-esque character you know way before Brock Samson of course uh, but you know rogue kind of bounty hunter-esque dude he's got a psycho gun for an arm gets into adventures with ladies and stuff like that. It's pretty much just like my early 20s, but in anime form. Killer stuff. I watched this the night I got it, and really, really stylish and fun stuff. I can't believe it took me this long to actually see it, but I'm glad I finally did. And uh, one of the other things he had um, was part of a series that I, I own many copies of, and I have some yeah fan sub versions of this, but I never owned the original Laserdisc of, so this is high on the priorities list, but only had part five, and I believe this is the TV series of Dirty Pair. Somebody else had snaked out a couple of other titles from under me, and uh, I see Maxine on Laserdisc Forever is offering a pretty complete collection, but unfortunately, yeah, it's not happening for me this week, but otherwise I put an offer on it. But I got part five at least, <laughs> a couple episodes on here. Looking forward to getting more of that at some point. And this, I had been dying to get the Laserdisc. Oh, the packaging on this thing is killer. Just like the uh, soundtrack CD, which I have. Um, I have the manga DVD of the, that came out over here, but it's going to be hard to kind of keep this together and show you. But er, er, er. Macros Plus, the movie. This thing is a cool rice paper scenario. The Obi strip is rice paper. And uh, the amazing artwork, front and back, with uh, the kind of Macross Plus and Sharon Apple logos peeking through, is also rice paper. And on the inside, you know, just stark black with the logos. Gorgeous release, and super excited to have that on Laserdisc. Killer stuff. And uh, the other one in the set is a uh, box set that I've been wanting to get. It's not really rare because everybody seems to have a copy of it, but it is a very nice CAV version of Macross the movie, the perfect edition. Very interesting. It's got the Obi on the other side and the uh, 
the box opens on this side, so a little different. It's got a cool like faux granite kind of backing backdrop there. Really, really nice release. And yeah, it's got three discs on the inside and of course the prerequisite informative booklet. But decent enough box, fairly thick. Some foam in there to keep things sturdy. And uh, some sort of survey. I can send back my thoughts on the movie or the laser disc. And it comes with a booklet. And there's Remembrance of Macross Decultured and the director's suggestion, which hopefully that's not, you know, to grow screw myself. But, uh, awesome stuff. And each disc has uh, its own artwork on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And uh, it still has the shrink just slid on the sides. But um, a disc one. And disc two. And disc three. So now I have to fire that up and watch that and complete my weekend. So thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these discs. I know my uh, anything I do anime related is guaranteed thumbs down. I don't know what it is. Like I don't have the right hat. I don't have the right knowledge. Uh, whatever it is. But yeah, I'm collecting the wrong movies. Whatever. But I'm at least going to get some thumbs down for this because for some reason anime equals hatred. So, uh, but shout outs to uh, the cool anime people out there like Maison Otaku. I say they're re-uploading some of their vintage episodes recently so very cool that they're getting those up and up and running again but uh yeah hopefully you guys dug this stuff hopefully there'll be many more uh, titles in the future but uh, i'll be back soon with some more um updates just like collection updates of general stuff and i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna do a player collection update video as well too and then get back to getting those blu-ray reviews out i've got tons of them they're backing up and they're causing all sorts of problems on the production assembly line so bear with me. We're going to make it happen. Anyways, hope you, hopefully you guys are enjoying the weekend, having a great summer, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers!